Happy Monday. It's Monday the 8th, solar eclipse day, and um, <clears throat> it is 6.14. So I've been off of work for about an hour now. I had to run to the um, little corner, like urban grocer on the corner and grab milk, lemons. Oh, let me put my milk away. I had to grab some milk and some lemons because, and some gum, because y'all know I like to chew gum when I work out and I ran out. Whole Foods, out of everything, didn't have lemons. I Yes, I put in an order for grocery delivery from Whole Foods. I have been terrible. I just have not been feeling like going to Trader Joe's. And they didn't have any lemons, and they didn't have a proper milk substitute. So I went and got it from the corner store. Um, and now I'm about to make some dinner. Got me a little glass of wine, as you saw. So for dinner, I'm gonna do fish. I bought fish this week. Let me raise y'all up a little bit. I bought fish this week for dinner. I bought some cod. <clears throat> it's frozen because I wanted to buy like <clears throat> a big pack, like a family pack. Um, so I bought frozen cod, which is fine. We can work with frozen cod. So I took a couple pieces out to thaw um, this morning. So it'll be ready for dinner tonight. So I'm just going to start to prepare that and I'm actually gonna put it in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and start heating it up. We'll leave it at 350. Oven at 350 and I'm going to basically steam the fish. Let me lower y'all now. I'm going to basically steam the fish in like aluminum foil. It's not low enough where y'all can see. I really need to dig my tripod out. <clears throat> but I'm going to steam it in aluminum foil on this tray basically. So today was a fairly productive work day. I'm proud of myself. I still have not created the outline for book club on Thursday. <laughs> I just, oh my God, it just seems like such a big task, even though it's really not. I'm just being lazy. Um, I still need to do that. I'm probably not gonna do it tonight though. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm going to make myself do it on my lunch tomorrow. Um, Cause I just realized like saying I'm gonna do stuff after work, it's, it's just, it don't work for me. So I either, I can read after work, right? So I need to actually start reading April's book. Um, but as far as like doing actual tasks after work, mm -mm, my body be on like wind down mode. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit. Um, so I'm probably not gonna work on it tonight, but I'll do it um, before work. Cause I usually have like an hour to like film content or, you know, whatever before work. Uh, today, I took a nap. <laughs> I literally like took an hour nap before I logged into work. Cause I'm usually done getting ready right at like seven o'clock, like with my shower and all that type of stuff. So I have an hour to shoot content in the morning, edit, whatever I need to do. And um, so I'll work on the outline then and I'll work on it during lunch tomorrow. And then I can um, get it sent out tomorrow after work so the girls will have at least a day to look at like the topic of discussion this shit stinks um the topic of discussion rinse my hand real quick As far as seasoning, because we're just steaming it, I'm not gonna put a lot of oil on it, but I'm gonna put just a little bit of, like a little drizzle of olive oil on the fish. 
and I was trying, I ordered this uh, or bought this Graza like extra virgin olive oil that I've been seeing all the girls use on TikTok and I actually really like it. They might be on to something. I'm gonna do minimal seasoning. I'm very much like a salt, pepper, garlic powder girl. I'm not like big on seasoning, but I don't even think I got any garlic powder. I'm gonna season both sides of that. Oh, is that a piece of plastic? Angela, please. Please. Put some seasoning on both sides. Um, I think I might have a little garlic powder left. I need to get to Trader Joe's because I ain't got no seasoning. Some garlic powder. Let's just do all the seasoning on each side. And I love this 21 Salute seasoning from Trader's. And I literally... I'm at the bottom of the barrel. Chad. Okay. I'm gonna have to get the traders for real this weekend. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it for the seasoning. Now we're gonna add a little flavor because it's different. Seasoning and flavor is not the same thing. And the girls be on the internet, and by the girls, I mean the girls. They be on the internet fighting for their life over seasoning and flavor, but I'ma stand 10 toes down and it's not the same, okay? You're not gonna throw a bunch of onions and peppers and garlic in something and be like, it's seasoned. No, it's flavored. That's flavor, but seasoning is salt, pepper, whatever. So if you give me some fish or chicken with just flavor on it, so you ain't did nothing but put some um, onions and stuff in it, I'ma be pissed off, cause it ain't got no seasoning. It's a difference. And I'ma stand 10 toes down on that. And that's on what, period. I don't know why I insist on using this little old knife for everything. But I'm just going to cut up some ginger and onions and I'll be back. So I just cut up some ginger and some green onions. And I'm literally going to just put it on top of the fish. Like so, like that. I think I'm going to put a little, <clears throat> a little more oil on the fish too. Let me put them close together. They're a little far apart. Then I'm just gonna spread the onion on top of the fish like that. Ooh, put a little more oil on top of there. So this is what, oops, can y'all see that? This is what the fish looks like. And I'm just gonna fold it up. In the foil. Like that. And I'm put it in the oven and let, let it cook. I should have put a little water at the bottom of there. Now that I think about it, hold on. I'm gonna add just a tad bit of water at the bottom of my little foil boat. Just a little bit, just a little bit enough to make it stain. Okay, now we're ready to cook. When that's almost done, I'm going to microwave some of this uh, frozen basmati rice, and I'm going to eat it on top of the rice, and that is going to be dinner for tonight. And I have a sink full of dishes. Well, not a sink full, but I need to take the clean dishes out of the dishwasher so I can put these dirty dishes in the dishwasher you know what i'm saying um so i'm going to do that and i'm going to look at the tiki talk for a little bit and then i'll be back when it's time to assemble assemble our dinner oh <gasps> you know what i forgot hold on i'm not done oh my god let me take my fish out i'm tripping i'm tripping this is actually a really good recipe and it's one of my favorite like healthy meals so I wanted to share it with y'all. So hopefully y'all can follow it even though I'm a bit discombobulated, but it needs lemon juice. I mean, I guess it don't need lemon juice, but I like to add a little a little lemon juice to it. And I literally forgot. 
Oh my God, my mind is all over the place right now. Um, but let's add some lemon juice. Glad I thought about that before I got to really cooking. Like, you know what I'm saying? This a big ass lemon. Um, I'm just gonna squeeze it over the top of the fish. The pan is kind of hot, so I can't move it. Y'all know it take fish 2.2 seconds to uh, cook. So I just squeezed the lemon juice over there. I'm just gonna drop this whole lemon in there and let it steam with it. Okay, it's back in the oven. And I swear this time it's ready to cook. I don't have no more um, plastic bags. Would this lemon fit in here? Cut this in half for my um, lemon water in the morning. The big ass lemon. Uh, yeah, okay. The fish is cooking for real now. Dinner is done, so I just warmed up some of that basmati rice, like I said. And then this is the piece de resistance. This is our fish. Good and juicy. Ooh, I'm gonna pour some of that juice over this rice. Ooh, ooh. This is gonna be real good. Okay, let me hold, put y'all down so I can assemble, but look. Mm. Okay, I just got y'all propped up. Everybody's so creative. Okay, let's get some of this juice onto the rice first. Mmm. That's enough. I don't want it too soggy. All right. Let's get our fish out of here. What did I do with my spatula? Mm. I put it in the um, dishwasher already. Okay, let's just try to use this fork and see how we fare. Ooh. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Oh, that smells so freaking good. And then I'm gonna pour just a little more of this juice over the fish. Ooh, I didn't mean to put that much. God damn. I want a LaCroix, but I'm like too lazy to get back up. So <laughs> I'll have one after this. Cause I'm just gonna lay on the couch and watch some episodes of Sex in the City. This is dinner. This is it. Again, this is just frozen cod from um, Whole Foods over frozen basmati rice. So it's cooked, but barely. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I will talk to y'all I thought I was supposed to have a delivery today, but it's probably going to come tomorrow. So I'll talk to y'all when that gets here. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I just got back from the gym, as you can tell. Um, and I don't got, I, when I say I don't have no food, I mean, I don't have no food up in here. Um, so a smoothie it is. Not a smoothie. I always say smoothie. Protein shake. I don't put like fruit, berries, like berries. I put frozen bananas. Anyway, I'm about to have <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm about to have a protein shake because literally all I have is that or eggs to have for breakfast. It's going to be 68 degrees outside in Chicago. Girl, that's like summertime. So me and my friend are going to, she needs to find something to wear for a panel she has. So we're going to go to Zara to look around for something for her to wear and then find a patio that's not too chilly. Because, you know, we downtown adjacent. So, baby, it be cold between them buildings. But what my booty look like? <laughs> but um, girl, uh, 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 girl, thank Angela, give me a break, <laughs> please. Um, I was saying that we are going to find a patio that's not too chilly to eat on. I'm just gonna put on a good t-shirt and sweater situation so I can make sure I am warm but i'm gonna be comfortable definitely sneakers jeans t-shirt y'all know the vibes um actually i might put on track pants if i'm being completely honest anyway bananas y'all know the deal with the smoothie protein shake frozen bananas bloop, bloop. one more one more little piece and 
dry this bone off. Some chia seeds. This. I'm probably gonna vlog from my phone and make like a TikTok, so it'll be like the it'll be in the vlog. It just will be in TikTok format. Y'all know how I do. Um, but other than that, I don't really have no plans. I don't really need to be spending no money because I finally booked my plane ticket for London. So I booked the hotel a long, like not a long time ago, but like last month. And um, I was trying to wait to my billing cycle to pay off the hotel that I booked for my birthday in LA. That billing cycle just passed, so that's why I got no money. <laughs> it be all fun the game. Booking, booking these beautiful, booking these trips and nice hotels until it's time to pay that fucking money back. Bro, bro, bro. I need y'all to start watching these videos 17, 18, 19 times. They took all my money. Oh my money got paid Thursday and got, they took all my money. Anyway, so I didn't want to book a plane ticket on there until I paid um, that hotel charge off. I don't know, just that much money on my account give me anxiety right it gives me it, on my card it just gives me anxiety so i had to pay that off and then the plane ticket was literally the same amount that i just paid <laughs> so i charged the plane ticket um oh yes oh this is flaxseed on uh, yesterday so london is officially happening i already put my little vacation time in I've already started making a freaking Pinterest board. Y'all want to see it? I'm going to make my smoothie and then I'll show y'all like the start of my Pinterest board. I'm just going to show y'all. I might show TikTok next week. But I'm going to give y'all an exclusive. Very much exclusive. Very much like y'all get the first look at my Pinterest. Like what I'm starting to like pin. And then I'm going to use this nasty old. Y'all remember they gave me this. They brought me this vanilla almond milk. I don't drink, mm, I don't like flavored milk. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all my little, what I'm thinking about real quick. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm putting in this vlog because I ain't really done nothing this week. i really just been working. Um, And that's really been it. I haven't even left the freaking house for real. I went to Target once and then I went to pick up some Nando's last night. And literally that was the only two times that I left the house this week. So I was like, maybe I'll, um, and I would just put two full scoops of that, this protein powder in here. And I just was like, maybe I'll like make the wall go through the week. Cause I got a couple packages coming in and I thought that would be fun to share, but it depends on how much, I don't even know what's on here for this vlog. So I'm going to go through it today and see, and it depends how much, and it might get, or it might get, I might end it tomorrow and start a new one. It just depends, baby. Because let me tell you something. We get to 30, 45 minutes an hour real quick. I don't be feeling like I be vlogging nothing. And then I get to editing and I be like, an hour of what? Me talking. Y'all know I like to talk. Anyway, let me make this. And then I'll sit down at my table. Which, while I'm out, I need to look for a couple cushions to go in these rattan chairs. Because if I sit a hole through that chair, I'm going to be pissed off. Okay? Um, so that's on my agenda too while we're out because I think it's like a Marshalls or something like close to there um, And I was looking on Amazon one day ugly two. I'm like they expensive and they gotta be cheaper At Marshalls. Why am I paying $50 for two seat cushions? Is that right? Is that like the average cost? <sighs> that same high to me. So I'm gonna look at Marshall TJ Maxx somewhere Ross Okay, I'm back. Also, I forgot to show y'all that I added some peanut butter to that too Dry little peanut butter. Oh, oh too much of a good thing though. Too much of a good thing though. Um, the lighting is much better in that chair, but I've been trying to rotate my ass weight in these chairs. That's why I gotta get um, girl. That's why I gotta get some um couch cushions. Anyway, let's go to my Pinterest. My Pinterest is not all cute and organized like everybody else. I literally use it as a dump for ideas or a um or um a place where i like grab ideas for other social media i don't like it's not organized and pretty um but i do have a page where i share my pictures if you want to if you don't follow me you want to go like tap 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 on my pictures and stuff like that add it to info boards you can do that but 
my sage stuff is like so unorganized like it ain't girl it, it look a mess anyway so i named um it's a private board so you can't go look at it because it's just like i said it's just an idea dump um so i just named it london town and so i'm going to show y'all i only have a few like and i don't know if all of these are going to make the cut but i know i want to wear like a cute dress or whatever excuse me but i'm saving stuff as i see it um, so the first thing that I saved was this picture here. I forget this lady name, but I did go look her up on Instagram because I was trying to find the exact dress. I want the exact dress or like something close to it. So this is the first picture I pinned and um, I found the dress because I, like I said, I went and found her on, um, on, I need to get another case, but this case was like a hundred and something dollars. It's like leather from Apple and I just, I can't bring myself to replace it right now because girl, I should have thought about that like leather I should, I should have thought about the wear and tear anyway um I found the actual dress because I found her page on uh Instagram and it's a Anna Kwan dress this is it here and I think it retails for like 550 I saw one on sale for like four something on Farfetch and then I saw another one on sale for like 150 but it's black and white and I don't want black and white. I want the cream color. So I'm going to sit on that and see if I can find, um, like it, it'll go on sale. But also like, I feel like this is something that costs or somebody will replicate really easily. So if I can't get this one, I'll find something close to it. So that's one pin. The second pin, I pin Rose Huntington Whiteley. Huntington Whiteley, I think that's how you say her name. On um, just like a casual day, I envision me like just walking around London, you know, shopping, whatever. She just has on like an oversized t-shirt and like some um, black like loose trousers. Both of these are the row. Y'all know I went and looked it up. She got on like some Chanel um, dad sandals and um, a little row bag and then just some black sunnies um, and shoes i may play with different um i might do some sneaks who knows i don't know um i might get like some common projects or like a basic sneaker like that but the concept of like the uh black pant like black loose like uh like elevated casual pant and the oversized t-shirt is very angela and it's very like yeah i want to be around london town with just like a tee some nice slacks maybe a good like basic sneaker like i said some sunnies a little bag and be on my way so these pants i've had saved on s and i'm mad i didn't buy them because they were on sale and i didn't buy them but it's this pair of like uh they're like a taffeta like material like mid-rise like they're kind of they're not barrel jeans but they come out a little bit anyway they're uh I lost my train of thought. They're Marcus Alameda. So I've had these saved on Essence for the longest. Now I have them saved on Farfetch. Um, I do really plan on getting this pair of pants if I can find them. Like I want these specific pants for that look. Not just for that look, just in general. But I'll probably end up wearing them for that look. And before that. Like I'm not buying stuff specifically just to take to London. If I buy any of this before I go to London and I want to wear it, I'm going to wear it. I, like, I'm just that type of person. And then I'll probably just do... A basic cost t-shirt which is what i saved there for me and then the third thing that i've pinned so far uh is this look here and it's just a pair of red track pants uh with like an oversized tee and a blazer y'all already know where i'm going with this i have my cost pants that i love and i was like oh a perfect time to wear them again um, so I'll probably wear those with just like an oversized t-shirt. I really like this one from Anina Bing. I've had this saved um, on a couple sites. So I just added this to my Pinterest because I might grab it. It has sort of like a mock high neck. It goes up just a little bit here. And then it's like boxy and it has, I don't know if y'all can see that with the glare. Um, and it has like a, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, it has like longer sleeves, which I really like um so i may go ahead and grab that those two pieces i know for sure i'll probably get to pull that look off now as far as the jacket i'm not a blazer person so it probably won't be a blazer unless i find a blazer that i really really like it'll probably be probably be a denim jacket like an oversized denim jacket instead of a blazer so i'm gonna hunt for a good one i haven't really seen one that i really like 
but I'm sure I'm I'm almost positive that it's going to be um, an uh, oversized denim jacket instead of a blazer. And then the last one I have right now is this picture of Yara Shahidi. Uh, I think she was doing like a press tour for one of her movies. Uh, I think Peter Pan. She's gonna be in Peter Pan. And just a good pair of like oversized denim which y'all know is very me and then so pretty much the same outfit as like the black and white outfit except for a pair of denim and a nice like this is a like a um like a cropped uh like collared shirt so just like something very interesting at the top uh white this is Jacquemus I think this is Jacquemus I as a matter of fact I, no it's not it's not Jacquemus what shirt is this this is Simkai it's Jonathan Simcock because I went and found the top. So it's the, the like a collar shirt, but it's cropped and it has shoulder pads. It's sold out. I went and looked for it. <laughs> I went and looked for it. Um, but I saved it just as a reminder in case it comes back in stock because I really like that shirt specifically. Um, but again, Jacquemus makes, you know, little cropped collared shirts, like, you know, elevated style collar shirts all the time so I'm sure I'll be able to find something and then the jeans that I'm looking for looking at are the Sid um jeans by Tibby I really like these jeans I'm gonna pull it up on the site I mean damn cookie okay I accept the cookies the I, yeah thank you god damn anyway um these just like oversized denim from Tibby they're just like a soft denim hold on let me give y'all a a view of them they're kind of like a barrel jean but not really a barrel jean uh, but it gives barrel jean like you know what I'm saying they're just like a wide like horseshoe I just think they're really cool and cute so those are the ones that I'll probably end up grabbing but you know who knows that might change so anyway I think I'm going for like cool casual Americana in London like style right and so yeah very much my normal style just on the streets of london period okay y'all i'm back home it wasn't much of anything to record we literally just went to zara grabbed some food and i was right back i don't even think i was gone more than like two hours i did buy some pants from zara i kept them on as you can see my tripod is back there so i was making a tiktok uh, but i kept them on so i can show y'all here too it's just a pair of trousers they have like this satin detail that's like sticking up out the top of them and then the drawstring on them is satin and uh, let me see if i can sit y'all up a little higher so y'all actually let me move y'all okay this is a better view of the pants so they're just a pair of trousers uh i went up to a size 10 i wasn't sure and something in my spirit was telling me angela get a size 10 because they'll those look like they're gonna run small um i have room in the waist of course but like as far as like length and just like how I like my pants to be a little loose and baggy, especially my trousers. I Going up to a size 10 was like the best call I could have made. Anyway, they're super cute. They were $49.90. $49.90, right? Yeah, they were $49.90. There's the tag in case you want to snag a picture of it and get the um, little item number to order them online or whatever. But that's it. They're cute. I like them. I also got some tacos. I had like four tacos and then I got a sandwich and I ate half of the sandwich, all the tacos. I'm about to eat the other half of the sandwich. I'm starving. I don't know why I asked for it to go bag. I should've just ate. That's the empty bar bag. I should've just ate the whole sandwich. It's like a braised goat sandwich. It was one of their specials. We went to a place called I don't know how you pronounce that, but my friend found it on Google, just on our like walking path. And it ended up being really good, actually. I had like some cho a chocolate espresso shot, and then I had four El Pastor. Cause if I'ma eat, if I get tacos, they gonna be poor. I'm telling you that now. And then I got this braised goat sandwich, and it was fire. I'm about to chill for the rest of the afternoon. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nobody's son. To take me out for a nice dinner. Ow, I'm running stuff. I didn't even make my bed up, so I'm literally about to finish eating that sandwich. Pop it up, pop open the top, top, of, top of Chico and lay down and watch TV. And it's still on from when I was listening to music today while I was getting dressed. 
exciting stuff. It is Monday at 5.39 p.m. Um, I just tried on these jeans that I ordered from Mango. Y'all, I ordered them true to size and they fit, but they smashed my booty in so much. I love them. They're so cute. I love the style. Look at that big old puff at the bottom of them. They're really cute. I love the style of, of them. The problem is they smashed my booty in like a pancake. And I just, ain't no way, boy. Ain't, ain't no way. They gotta go back. They smashed my booty in like a pancake. And they are uh, super big in the waist. Not super big, super big. Like I got a lot of room in the waist where I would need to get the waist altered, but only in the back. So it's like gapping. I should have kept them on, but I didn't even, y'all, I didn't think about it. I just took them off. Um, so I can package them back up and send them on back. But um, it's a lot of gapping in the back. Now, how did they have this? Girl. It's a lot of gapping in the back and um, they just so tight on my booty and my thighs. And that's like, these are mid-rise too. And that's why um, I have such a hard time with like mid-rise denim and my body type because I have hip dips, but I also have booty and I have thighs, right? And legs. But I don't have no hips. <laughs> and my waist is, you know, fairly taut. So when I get mid-rise stuff, it tends to be gapping in the back, too tight on the legs, too tight on the booty, and my butt end up looking like a damn pancake. Anyway, I have to send them back. It's just fine because I need to be not spending money anyway, even though I wouldn't consider buying stuff, buying clothes unnecessary at this time. Um, I was gonna say I need to not be spending unnecessary money because I have to, um, I finally bought my uh, flight to London. Did I tell y'all this? I can't remember what I didn't vlog, so I'm gonna have to wipe this tape off. I can't remember what I didn't vlog so far, but I know I, know I told y'all I got a hotel, but I booked my flight for London this week, so she's official. Um, and I'm going to do just like a day in Paris, uh, overnight like stay in Paris because I'm going on a Wednesday. Well, I'm flying out of Chicago on Tuesday night at like 8 p.m. So I'll get to London that Wednesday at like 10 a.m. I don't, I check in my hotel at three. So I'll have Wednesday, all Wednesday afternoon and evening, Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. I saw a 6 a.m. flight from Paris, uh, Air France, from um, London to Paris. And then I'm gonna spend all day in Paris, get a hotel room for the night, and then fly out of Paris at 8 a.m. Um, on Sunday morning, and then spend all the rest of Sunday in London, and then I fly back to Chicago on Monday. So the plane ticket, which I was like, damn, why is it so expensive? It's like a 40 minute flight. Uh, but the plane ticket was like $300, so I'm gonna return it and go ahead and buy that plane ticket because I just am. Anyway, well, I was gonna buy the plane ticket anyway, but that just makes me feel better about having to return the jeans. Anywho, I also did a little Amazon order, um, and it came the same day. I love a same day Amazon order. I had to get some hand soap, which this is the wackest hand soap ever, but this is like, girl, this is what they had on Amazon. Um, I went to Target yesterday and did not realize that I ran out of hand soap and I wasn't going back to Target today. So I got what I can get on Amazon, but I really had to re-up on my, y'all know I like this uh, element stuff for my electrolytes for my run. And then I ordered some more like Honey Stinger uh, energy products, but I ordered the Chews this time to try those for my young, long run. So you just, how many servings? Oh, it's two servings in this. So this is perfect. So like if I have a, uh, like I did six miles Sunday, so I would be able to just take one pack of these with me because it's two servings and I could have had, you know, this, or if I have um, a nine mile or a 10 mile run, I only really need one pack of these. So we'll see how those work. I told y'all those gels, maybe it just takes too much effort. I don't like the way it feel going down my throat. So somebody suggested I try to choose. So I'm gonna try to choose and see how I like those. But this I love, like this is going to be in my normal like run um, regime. This is here to stay. These we gonna try. And this is the third product from this brand. I didn't try, I didn't try the waffles, didn't like it, the gel. I do not like the gel, it's just a lot of work. I, I feel like I have to stop and consume the gel. Um, and now I'm trying to choose. So if this don't work, then I'm moving on to another brand. So 
anyway that's really all for me today i don't have much of anything going on i have to get into my april's read i haven't cracked the book yet and we halfway through april right now this is our book club read for april it's um a renaissance of our own by rachel e cargyle uh, I followed I followed her on Instagram for a long time. So when I was thinking about books to choose to read for this uh, book club, this year of reading uh, memoirs or um, books about stories of black women, this came to mind. So this is the book that we're reading um, this month. And I have not started, so I need to get to doing that. So I'm going to knock out a few chapters tonight of that. Um, I'm making chicken thighs because I am on a chicken thigh kick right now. Like I had some, I had some chicken thighs the other day and I was like, uh, I forgot how much I love chicken thighs. Now all I want is chicken thighs. So I have some chicken thighs in the oven and I'm going to have like just some Caesar salad with it. And that's going to be it for my night. I should probably wrap this vlog up, but we'll give it another couple days. I have a package, uh, or something that should be delivered or I should be able to pick up from Zara within like the next day. Hopefully tomorrow, so then I can return that and pick that up all in one swoop. Like, you know, I don't have to keep leaving my house every day. Even though it's beautiful outside of Chicago. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then I have a little essence, a little, the cute little trinket I bought myself. It's a household thing from Essence that I can show y'all. So we'll give it another day or two and then we'll close this thing down. We'll have it posted by like Thursday. It's Tuesday the 16th. Um, I just wrapped work up. It's hella early to be eating dinner, but I'm starving because I literally only ate bacon. Like I made like four pieces of bacon and then had two pieces of like Udi's whole grain bread. And I just folded up the bacon in the bread and ate it like a sandwich. So I'm starving because I didn't have like a proper lunch. I typically do a bowl of cereal right after the gym some water, some coffee, a protein shake, and then right around 11.30ish, I get hungry, so I'll eat like a proper breakfast, and then, you know, apple or something like that, and then usually is enough water, whatever, to hold me, like, um, through the day until dinner time, baby, mm -mm, I'm starving. So we about to make dinner now, and I'm about to make my little, uh, Trader Joe's Bidia Pizza. It's not the one that you see on TikTok. It was a viral one on TikTok, but like this is the Angela. <laughs> one thing about me, I'm gonna make something that's already simple, simpler. So this is a even simpler version of the Bidia Pizza on TikTok. Plus, they be putting a lot of stuff on their stuff. And I'm, I'm a simple girl. I'm a simple girl. Some aluminum foil. Let's turn on the oven. Let's put that on 375. Where's the little thing? 375. Let's get that to going. Ugh. And one thing about me, I'm going to put whatever I'm making on this on some foil so I can throw it away. Got our foil down. Okay. So for our ingredients, we have green onions, mozzarella. This is marinated fresh mozzarella. Um, onions, and I bought them already chopped. Girl, I'm not chopping up no onions. Um, a, I made this the other day, so I ate one. It was two in the pack, but this is a cauliflower pizza crust. And then the bidia. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the Put this in the microwave. I always put it in there for like seven minutes. I'll start that once I'm done setting this up so y'all don't hear the microwave going zzz in the background. So I'm gonna, this is what the crust looks like. It don't really fit, but that's okay. It just gotta kind of fit. It don't have to always fit. So on the piece of crust, can y'all see that? Y'all can kind of see it. Don't piss me off. Okay, so on the piece of crust, I am going to put the mozzarella on first. So I'm just gonna stick my hand right in there. They clean, don't worry. And plus, if they weren't, only person eating is me. But I am very germy, phobie, germy phobie. So 
they're clean. The other day, y'all, I ate this entire thing. Like, literally. This was Sunday. Girl, somebody stop me. The entire freaking pizza. I sure, I didn't eat it in one sitting, but I like by the time Sunday was over and I was like getting in the bed, it was, it was, I had, it was gone. It was finished. Okay, so that's enough for the bottom. I'll use the rest of those extra pieces um, on the top. So this is what it's looking like so far. And then I'm going to spread the onions on top of the cheese. I guess you could put these like on top of the meat when it's done, but I like them. I don't want to see them. Green onions I always put on the top once it's done. So I don't even know why I um, pull those out. You know what I need to bring over here so I won't forget a lime. I'm gonna squeeze some lime on top of it when it's done. Let me cook this birria and then I'll come back and finish showing y'all after the video is done. So the video is done. Why did I think I was I like hit start on the oven and I never started warming it up? So we're still waiting on the oven to warm up, but I did go ahead and cut up the green onions and like the shoot part, like the white part, I added that at the bottom of the pizza too. And now I'm going to just take, it don't be a lot in here. I feel like they starting to put less and less every time I buy this. But anyway, I'm gonna start putting the, oh, it's hot. Should've let it cool down some, but that would be too much like right. Ah! So I just start spreading it over the pizza. And if it's like super big chunks, I just break them up. Whew. Baby, I ain't gonna have no fingerprints. I really personally like this video, like it don't, taste authentic like we won't be we won't we won't go there but it's good and it's really seasoned like I don't even add additional salt to the um, meat that's how good it's seasoned and y'all know I, I, you know I'm a proponent of seasoning your food but like legit it doesn't need it so I don't even add any additional like seasoning to this once it comes out, I put a little salt just over the pizza as a whole because I squeeze lime on it and I like like the way that salt tastes in lime juice. So I do it for like a taste thing, but it doesn't, it, I swear to God, it doesn't need any flavor. That's all of it. And then I take a spoon. Let me this off. That look like And then I take a spoon and I spoon like some of the juice over it like this. I'm not pouring this whole thing over it cause you don't want a wet pizza, you know what I'm saying? So you can save it and like fold your pizza and dip your pizza in it when it's done. I sit up and like take a spoon and start drinking the juice like a damn kid. That's what I do with it. But spoon a little bit of it over that and then once the oven it's done heating up to 375. I'm just going to put this in the oven and let it cook. And then I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like when it's done. But that's what it looks like going into the oven. So here's our finished pizza out of the oven. And then I have my green onions that I cut up. So I'm just going to sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I can't stand that woman. I don't know why I said that. Um, that's a topic for another day. But I'm going to, I like green onions y'all. So I'm gonna put a lot of them on there and then I have to cut my lime so I can squeeze it on there. And then this lime, limes are always so freaking hard. Why are they like that? I rolled it to get a little juice out of it. Okay, then we squeeze our, our lime on there. Not too much, I don't want it to be limey limey. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna put a little salt on top of it and then I'm gonna let it cool down. Put a little salt, not too much. That's it. That's the pizza. Let it cool down. And I'm gonna tear it up. I'm gonna try not to eat this whole thing, but I can't make no promises. Now I said up and told that lie, like I wasn't gonna eat all that pizza. Look at that. That's all that's left. That don't make no dang on sense. Anyway, I got a couple packages that I can share with y'all. Let's go over to some sunlight really quickly. I still haven't ordered, no, 
chair cushions i did um when i was out what was that saturday i got meat in my teeth when i was out saturday i did go into like a tj maxx and look for cushions but they don't sell cushions in the store no more like what the heck okay the first thing i'm gonna show y'all is something that i bought so i ordered these teacups off of essence well not teacups these are like coffee cups uh more like little espresso cups um i ordered them off of essence aren't they pretty hold on let me just let me let me put one down so i can give y'all like a real look at it like look at how pretty that is i used to have a little collection of like glassware and stuff that was like my favorite i would have like i had like cute bowls and plates too but glassware really was my favorite before i moved to chicago but when i came here y'all know the story we did with somebody had to get rid of all that because it wasn't really no space and i've been in small spaces since i've been here i'm really a small space person i was saying that on tiktok where like i'm a small 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 place person by nature so when i was looking to move again i looked at studios um, because when I was in that one bedroom before this, I would always tell y'all how like spooked out I was because it was just like long and I, I like, I just like being in the studio so I can see my entire space. Of course that'll change once I like start sharing space with somebody or even when I buy something, like I'm not going to buy a one bedroom. Um, I'm going to at least go into buy like a two bedroom. So I'm going to put big drawers on, but for now I get to choose small space. And so it really doesn't allow for me to like, cause if I had space. I, it would be actually ridiculous. It's actually good that I'll have space. That curtails me from, is the curtail the right word? That keeps me from buying more of this. These, this little set was $50, I think like 70 after like tax and shipping. But it's uh, and a millimeter and I ordered them off of Essence and I love them. Now I gotta figure out where they gonna go. I'm gonna have to put them on top of the counter. Ain't no, I mean, on top of the cabinets. Ain't nowhere else for them to go. And then I was also gifted um, some sunscreen. Ooh, it's uh, SPF 52. That's what I'm talking about. It's a uh, sunscreen serum from It Cosmetics. It's just, a, it's PR. It's not like a brand deal or anything like that. Um, but I'm all about trying sunscreens because. Um, the super goop of seeing sunscreen is like my tried and true that and um, La Roche Posay that like Anthelios, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like a 50 or 60 SPF 2. I switch between those two. I know for a fact that those work and they don't leave a uh, white cast. And then I got one from Kiehl's NPR not too long ago and I like that one too. It actually does not leave a white cast. I think I showed that one to y'all. So I'm also going to try this, but I think I'm gonna wait until Saturday, Sunday. Girl, now I ran out of space on this camera. That never happens to me. Anyway, I had to delete some stuff. Um, I was saying that I am going to try this on Sunday when I go on my long run. That's what I did with the Kills one to see, you know, not only if it leaves a white cast like immediately, but like, does it start to like, you know, when I sweat, like, does it like, you know start to build up on my face so i'll use this sunday and i will keep y'all updated on that i think that's it for this vlog i don't have much of anything else going on the zara pack i don't understand i don't know why when i get stuff delivered to the store it takes forever like the last time i had to call them and be like do y'all got my stuff and they were like oh yeah it's here so like if I order something to my house, it'd be here in like two days. If I have something to pick it up at the store, it'd be, it takes forever. But I sent it to the store because it was under, it was only like a $40 purchase and I'm not paying shipping. I'm not doing it. So I'll send it to the store and I'll come and pick it up. So whatever, that try on will be in the next vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I'm so, I love my cup. You better fucking believe that I'm, there will be a TikTok video of me tomorrow making espresso using my cup. You hear me? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe on all the socials that you like to spend your time on. I'm on all of them, except for like the Twitter. I'm just a spectator on Twitter, but everything that I am on is linked in the description box below. As always, as always, as always I appreciate the support. And I will talk to you. I'm sleepy, but I got chapters to read. So you is not going to sleep, honey. Um, as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Don't be rude.